27 Cleaning Hacks to Get a Clean House. A lot of the time, cleaning can feel like a chore because, well, it is. But is there a way to speed up the dreaded task of making your home look beautiful? Keep watching to find out some easy methods to help you clean quicker. But first, how about you subscribe to our channel and click the notification button too. We here at Bestie are happy to provide you with all sorts of tips and tricks related to cleaning, health, and life. So, let's jump right into it. How are you going to go about organizing and tidying up so you can finally have a clean house? Not only is finding time to maintain your household a struggle, but finding quick cleaning hacks that are also affordable is a whole other issue to tackle. What we often don't consider with cleaning our homes is how much it can cost to clean them up. That's why we scoured the internet to find these quick, easy, and cheap cleaning hacks that require things you probably have at home. You might as well start putting them to use. Number 27, dryer sheets. These little multi-purpose miracles aren't just for making your laundry smell good. During your pursuit of a clean house, try using a dryer sheet to buff out water spots or wipe your baseboards. Number 26, vinegar. You can remove bacteria on produce by creating a spray bottle concoction of one part vinegar and three parts water and spraying your fruits and vegetables before rinsing them. Believe it or not, this is also the perfect mixture for cleaning your toilet. Pour some vinegar onto paper towels and put them along the edges of your toilet bowl, letting them sit for a couple hours. Number 25, lemons. Lemons have multiple purposes, including an easy way to clean your cutting board and keeping the garbage disposal smelling fresh. For the cutting board, try adding a little kosher salt and as for the garbage disposal, lemon cubes work wonders to keep that stinky disposal smelling fresh. Number 24, baking soda. This is one of the best tips and tricks if you've got stains and messes on your surfaces. If you wanna get rid of those aforementioned blights on your furniture, maybe try adding baking soda to your cleaning routine. Maybe you've got a wine stain on your couch. Sprinkle baking soda on your couch and let it sit before vacuuming up the mess. Add carpet cleaner for those really tough stains. Number 23, razors. Paint stains on your wool or denim clothes? One of the greatest tips and tricks for cleaning those is to use a disposable razor blade. Try scraping away at it with disposable razors, preferably an old or dull one so you don't waste a new razor. I mean, hey, they sure are expensive. Number 22, socks. This is a cleaning hack if you're having trouble finding something to clean your stuff with. Remember that vinegar concoction we told you about? Pour some onto an old sock and voila, now you have a hard surface cleaner. Number 21, duct tape. Too lazy to take out the vacuum? Wanna just do some speed cleaning? Hit the junk drawer and pull out a roll of duct tape. Use a piece of duct tape to pick up small crumbs that don't warrant the extra hassle. Number 20, aluminum foil. This is great for speed cleaning. Use just enough aluminum foil to line your toaster tray. After you cook something on it, throw it away and repeat. No need to clean that tray if it isn't getting dirty. You can also use it to line the bottom of your oven so that all the excess grease is caught on the bottom. Looks like the speed cleaning of your kitchen is going to reach new heights. Number 19, liquid shower gel. This is a quick fix for the soap scum in your bathtub or shower. Change from a bar to some liquid soap. Shower gel contains fats and oils specifically formulated to prevent buildup. Finally, some tips and tricks that'll make you feel less gross while showering. Number 18, soap and water. Aside from all the usual things soap and water help us accomplish, another way to make sure your blender is squeaky clean is to add some soap and water and just press blend. Number 17, dish soap. Grab some of that dish soap and pour it into a bowl of water. Add your combs and hairbrushes into the bowl to clean out that product buildup. It's also a great tool for organizing your bathroom stuff. Number 16, fuzzy socks. Have a pair of fuzzy socks you wouldn't be caught dead in, or maybe you lost a matching pair? Put those socks to good use and make a Swiffer pad out of them. Instead of buying expensive refills at the store, you can just wash the sock and continue to use it. Number 15, clothes iron. Use some ammonia and the heat from your clothes iron to remove those unwanted carpet stains. 
Number 14. Salt. There's nothing worse than an oil-splattered kitchen. If you want to prevent all that extra cleanup, sprinkle a little bit of salt on the pan before frying. Number 13. Microwave. Worried your sponge is looking a little gunky or has a funny smell? Just throw the sponges in the microwave, cook for two minutes, and voila! 99% of all germs on that questionable sponge are gone. Number 12. Ammonia. If you have grimy gas burners that take forever to clean, throw your burners in a bag with a fourth cup of ammonia and let it sit overnight. Remove burners from the bag and wipe clean. Number 11. Keep sweeping. While this may seem like one of those speed cleaning tips that's counterintuitive, a continuous amount of sweeping actually saves you time in the long run. The more you sweep, even if it's just five minutes a day, the less you'll have to eventually mop. Sweeping gets all those dirt and grime particles that eventually start sticking on the floor. And if you spill something sticky, make sure you immediately clean it up. There's nothing worse than having to mop an unidentified sticky mess. Number 10. Multitask Let's enter the kitchen for a second. The best way to keep from cleaning up caked on grease splatters is to clean them as you go. If you ever get a moment while cooking, clean the counters and stove as you're making your food. Also, never leave pots, pans, and dishes in the sink. They'll just get harder and harder to clean as time goes on. Number 9. Circling Around Another cleaning hack for the kitchen is to start at your stove and then circle around in a clockwise motion. This life hack is for cleaning and organizing. Plus, you should always start at your stove because it's frequently the dirtiest part of your kitchen. Also, if you're moving in a clockwise motion, you'll always know where you've been and where you're going. Number 8. The Dishwasher even though its only job is to clean things, the dishwasher can end up being pretty darn dirty. A great cleaning tip for the dishwasher is to shake baking soda on a damp sponge. Then, run it all the way along your appliance's wall. You wouldn't want that thing that cleans your dishes for you to be covered in bacteria, would you? Number 7. Clean Your Closets Martha Stewart recommends cleaning out your closets once a week so that it doesn't eventually become an all-day chore. Just because it's out of sight most of the time doesn't mean that your closet isn't collecting dust and dirt. Not only is it great for organizing, but cleaning out a closet can be fun. You get to relive all those horrible fashion choices that you once made and hopefully get rid of them once and for all. Number 6. Wipe down the shower. When should you be wiping down your shower? Well, after each use. This will prevent the eventual accumulation of the grossest, well, some of the grossest bathroom offenders, mold and mildew. It's better you take a couple of minutes after you shower to wipe things down than the hours you'll have to spend trying to get rid of it once it's congealed. Number five, clean your broom. This is a great speed cleaning tip because nothing slows you down more than a dirty old broom. They collect dust and dirt over the years and dragging it all over the surfaces you're trying to clean is counterintuitive. To clean it, run that thing's bristles across a firm edge, then use your vacuum to get out all the stuff hidden deeper in your broom. There you go, good as new. Number four, broom storage. Another great broom-related life hack is to store your broom's handle side down. Not only does it make your broom easier to find, but it also protects their bristles. Remember, those bristles are the only thing protecting you from dirty floors, except maybe the vacuum. Number three, get an apron. During your attempt at tidying up, do you find yourself constantly returning to your bucket to get your cleaning stuff? You won't if you get an apron. If you have an apron, you can carry your cleaning supplies everywhere you go, and you'll cut back on lost time. Obviously, you'll need to get one with pockets, but you already figured that out, didn't you? Number two, shower your plants. If we had to create a list of things we never thought we'd hear out loud, shower your plants would be right up there. However, those green babies do collect a lot of dust and cleaning each petal by hand is tedious. Stick them in a tub and spray them down with your shower head. Two for one bonus. You also just watered them. Number one, use a squeegee. This is a life hack for when you're speed cleaning your windows. 
Instead of busting out a paper towel or a cloth, use a squeegee for a quicker, more efficient clean. Plus, you can pretend like you're working at the car wash, just like the song. And that's it. Did you like our video? Do you have any speed cleaning tips and tricks that you want to share? Leave a comment down below and tell us your best cleaning tip. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.